report straight to the corridors of justice. The Supreme Court has struck out a petition that was challenging the swearing-in of President-elect William Ruto and his deputy Rigathi Gashagwa on integrity issues. The ruling by the seven-judge bench said the court lacks jurisdiction to determine the case and the reasons for the petition are incompetent. Sarafina Robi with Scales of Justice. A legal barrier standing on the way of the swearing-in of President-elect William Ruto and his deputy on the 13th of September has been cleared after the Supreme Court threw out a petition seeking to block the two from taking oath of office on integrity issues. Eleven activists had moved to the Supreme Court seeking to stop the deputy president-elect Rigathi Gashagwa from taking office on integrity issues against him and the president-elect for nominating him. But the Supreme Court ruled that the petition was out of the court's jurisdiction as the notice of motion was filed on the 8th of August 2022, a day before the general elections and even a days before the declaration of the results of presidential elections, contrary to the provisions of Article 140 of the Constitution, which requires a person to file a petition in the Supreme Court to challenge the election of the president-elect within seven days after the date of the declaration of results of the presidential election. The court for the city that the reasons given in the notice of motion were incompetent. Serafina Roby for Prime Edition.